the book is an autobiography in some sense. It is the story of my career. Um, and it accentuates the mistakes I made. Some of them very severe. And I've been fired a couple of times. I got hired a couple of times. You know, I've gotten, you know, I started my own company. Uh, I've had a company fail. I've had lots of experiences uh, in the software industry. And this book is a set of lessons for younger people uh, who don't want to quite follow the the errors that I made, who want to learn from the errors of the people who went before them. Um, I wrote the book because I, I have been in the industry a long time, I, I work with programmers a lot, and I see these mistakes getting made over and over and over again. And at some point I thought, well, somebody needs to write a book that just tells people, don't do this, do that. There are a lot of books out there that, that approach this topic from a slightly different angle. There's The, uh, the Pragmatic Programmer, written by uh, Dave Thomas and Andy Hunt, which is a terrific book, full of very good advice. There's uh, Chad Fowler's uh, The Passionate Programmer, excellent book. But these books do not quite lay out this do this, don't do that kind of message. And I figured I was old and crufty enough to get away with telling people how to behave. So I did that. I wrote this book that said, this is what you should do. That's what you shouldn't do. Okay. And, and also, it's, it's something interesting, because I was looking back at the books that you wrote in, in the 90s. Yes. yes. It was more mostly focused, I think, on architecture, yes. and writing yeah. about software, yeah. as now it is more, this has been my career. Yes. So. So the, the book is a deep departure for me. There's not a line of code in it, which, which you know, I'm a techie. I like code. I want to write about code. I want to write about design. Uh, and here I go. I write a book with, with no code in it. Say, so, what am I now, Dr. Phil? Um, I kind of hope that I don't, that the next book I write is back to the technical topics, because that's really where I like to live. Uh, this book, though, bubbled out of me uh, because of a need that I foresaw and just felt I should write it.